uh, time for some DIY again. Now I've had a lot of uh, a lot of interesting comments about um, people trying to uh, ant proof their uh, stands and stuff with their uh, beehives, and a lot of very complicated techniques which uh, don't really need to be done. Uh, obviously, I'm from a trade background, so we actually use things called ant capping. Uh, for houses stop the ants coming up. So it's very simple, very easy. I'm going to show you. We're going to deck out the new digs in here for the girls. And uh, I'm going to show you how I incorporate just the small bore ant capping into the stands. And that way, no ants are going to get up into your uh, beehives. It'll be nice and covered. So uh, first, you need to get your stand built the bottom parts. Um, I'm going to bring them in in a second. And then I'll show you how to fit the cap onto them. Give me one sec. Are in place. I'll give you a quick run down them in a minute, but uh, these are called ant caps. So basically they're you know, 150 mil end cappings, they're from Bunnings, less than a dollar each, <laughs> pretty, pretty easy things to get a hold of. What happens is that sits on top of your timber or metal or you know, whatever you've got on top of your stand there, and the ants crawl up, da 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 da, they'll hit the top of it and they'll actually come back down and they don't have the capacity to work out that they can go around that lip and carry on. So it's just a little barrier and they'll, they'll think it's the end of the world and turn around and go back home again. So all you do when you build your frames you've just got to be cautious that you don't have uh, a top timber that your timber sits on and it's got to be sitting on posts like this and your hand caps just simply fit onto tops like that uh, my drill. Screw them on so they don't flop around when you're doing it. And it is as simple as grabbing your top timber. Where did I put them? Yeah. And that's it. The world's easiest ant free beehive stand. So you just got to be careful that when you're if you're mounting in an apron like this, um, you just keep a little gap between the wall and the uh, top there, and there's no other way the uh, ants can get up. Because they'll come up here, they'll hit the ant capping, and you can see there's a gap between the edge of the ant capping and the timber. They can't get past it, they'll go away again. So, it literally is as simple as that. So, yeah, get cracking. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back next time with uh, a few new projects. Thanks for watching.